Hey Taurus, welcome to your general reading for June. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Even if you see this after June, the time frame is generally for YouTube. If you click on the video, the message is for the watcher. So if you are cross watching for a Taurus, the message is generally for you. Okay, so that's if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Well, let's see, we're gonna pull one of the Akashic Tarot for the overall energy, what you'll be dealing with during June. The Six of Keys, the Increscent Moon, everybody's getting this. Everybody is getting this and it's saying to expect, you've done the work, um, you can see a man here working <clears throat> on his busk and it's saying you've done the work that's required, now just basically sit back and wait to receive. I said in the other readings as well, um, this moon phase um, is coming up in a couple of weeks. So, um, expect to receive in the next few weeks. So, it could be, you know, you're going through certain phases. Um, you know, if you are a person who's done the work because before this when i was meditating in taurus energy the hermit kept falling out so you know if you've done the work and got that spiritual growth then expect to receive i think this is actually then this moon is actually like in a week or so in six days or so as a time frame there So, oh, Taurus, judgment, yeah, divine timing, divine timing here, being at work, and if you've done the work, like I said, it's within the next few weeks, so if you're expecting something, or <clears throat> say if you're expecting payout from work, or you're expecting um, a soulmate to enter your life here, and divine timing has been at work, this is what we can expect in the next few week in the next week or so it's the time is now especially for a second chance with judgment the nine of wands so this is like again telling us it's not over but just stop take a break you know look back on all the work you've done if you've done the work, look back on the work you've done. Now's a time to just wait here. And I don't mean just sit around and expect, um, you know, somebody to come back or something to come in if you haven't put the work in yourself. This is somebody who's put the work in. And the workmen have started. So they should take a rest while I do this. <laughs> but yeah, the nine of wands is somebody, you know, who's been going through it. Um, and now's the time to do nothing. Rest. Five of cups. Okay. So. Excuse me. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I can't listen to that. Um, sorry. So, the Five of Cups here. So, you know, this is about her and upset and what's been lost because we have um, three cups knocked over and two cups still standing. So, again, speaking of, um, you know, evaluate what you still have, what's still standing strong and all the work you've put in and protect, you know, the work that you've put in, what's still left here. So it's been hard with the Nine of Wands because that's speaking of a battle. And it's also been hurtful emotionally. It's been emotionally draining here. So 
So judgment is coming now. It's like judgment day is coming here. Three of wands. Yeah, there you go. Waiting. It's coming. Your ships are coming in. So um, whatever it is you're waiting on, could be a job offer, could be somebody returning from overseas. It's now going to happen, especially as um, the Three of Wands mirrors the Judgment card here. It's definitely about um, divine timing and protecting what you've already, you know, built up. So if you've rebuilt yourself up and, um, you know, your spiritual growth, protect it. Protect it because what you've been waiting on is coming now. And that's basically what the In Crescent Moon says as well. It's time to receive, time to celebrate. Four of Pentacles, yeah, so you may have been holding on to some person very tightly, a connection very tightly, or you may have been struggling with money, or even both. Um, so, you know, you've been having to maybe scrimp and save, spend wisely, save even wiser. You know, sometimes it's hard to save when you don't even have the money. Um, but all that's about to change. It's now your time to receive. Just hang on in there and it's coming. It's like it's affected your money. It's affected your motivation. It's affected your emotions here. And it's time now for that to turn around. It's time for this change to come. And it's coming with the three of wands. You know, um, the ship's almost docking here. Remain strong. Because while I was uh, meditating for Taurus, we also had the Empress come out twice. So, you know, um, it says the Empress, it, Empress is like um, abundance, new beginnings, changes here. And we've just had the lovers jump out now. So if it is a divine connection that you is holding on to and you've done the spiritual work and growth here, we can expect to see um, changes in that area. Um, the lovers is also like a return to good health. So maybe you've been working out or eating better, looking after yourself better, and now you're going to see changes in that department as well here. It's also about signing new contracts. So... Um, and again, positive changes here. It's a number six. So it's real positive energy now coming in for you guys. So if you've been waiting on that promotion here, we see that coming in also. The Fool, wonderful. So like I said about the Empress, new beginnings. You know, you maybe you're feeling fear at the moment, scared that it's not going to happen. Maybe you're questioning after all this work you've put in, you know, will it actually happen? And here we see, you know, a huge turnaround. As if you've been struggling, it looks like, you know, somebody here could have been struggling on all parts of their life. Money, emotions, you know, um, physical things in your life, your love life even. So if that, if you know, if you have that, you know, you just have to hold on in there. It's coming now. This change is coming. And with these being um, major arcana, this is energy. This change is going to stay quite a while now. So these positive changes are going to stick around. Minor arcana is, you know, energy that doesn't last long. So we have the minor arcana for the troubles in your life here. But we have the major arcana for changes and new beginnings, fresh starts and um, positivity coming in. Something is about to begin here and it's, it's something you've been waiting for. Ten of Swords, there you go. If you're a person who has not been deterred through all these difficult times, um, then we see, you know, these beautiful changes coming in. 
So you could have felt like there was no way out at one point here. Um, but you kept at it, you kept going, you know, it really seems like it was a difficult time with this Five of Cups. It's like a real drain on your emotions and the Four of Pentacles, even finances took a hit here. So by not being deterred, the Ten of Swords shows that that's a now ending. Tens are about endings. So we see, you know, that coming to an end, that Ten of Swords difficult energy coming to an end now. So that's real good. King of Wands, yeah. King of Wands. So if you're waiting on somebody taking action towards you, this is what we see here. Action being taken. Doing things for the right reason here. And it's better to be like in um, this king energy. Don't focus on anything negative that's passed. That it's, it's letting me know here that if you're watching this, this is now over. The difficult times are now over. Now's time for, um, you know, getting all that fire energy in for you guys. This positivity, you know, actual movement and flowing in. Don't focus on worst case scenarios because um, you'll just like pull it on a bit longer, you know, what we uh, are thinking, feeling, we're manifesting. So just know that this change is here for you now. Divine timing is, you know, the divine is going to step in um, and bring these changes around for you now. You're going to see movement with the king of wands. Big changes here. Page of Cups. So if you're definitely, this is communication coming in, very positive communication coming in. Definitely, um, especially if you are waiting from, for a romantic interest to contact you. Here, this is what we see here, but it's a page, again, about new beginnings, fresh things. Um, even if you're waiting on communication from a child or somebody younger than you here um this is somebody coming in with maybe an apology um wanting to communicate or a new relationship here coming in but definitely positive changes i hope as well this is like um you having regrown that love for yourself refilled your own cup here so, Taurus, positive changes are coming here. Good luck, guys.